What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you an awesome series shortcut that can take Safari to the next level and literally make it feel like it has a bunch of cool tweaks made for Safari on a non-jailbroken iPhone. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Alright, so this series shortcut is actually pretty cool. So there's a few things we're going to need to do in order to get this to work. So you're going to have to open up Safari on your iPhone, and you can be on any website while setting this up, but all you're going to need to do is click on the share button, and then go ahead and scroll over until you see the more button tap on that and then scroll down and then tap on shortcuts and you want to make sure that that is toggled on so now you're going to see a little icon that says shortcuts if you go into the share menu as you can see right now i'm searching for it and it's right here you can actually relocate it by holding down and dragging on it so i'm going to relocate it to the second button so now every time you tap on the share button, just tap on shortcuts and then boom, you can instantly tap on web services, which is the shortcut you can download and you have all these options. So you have a dark mode. Now this doesn't work on Apple's website, but it works on most websites. And I just want to give a huge shout out to the creator of the shortcut. I will be linking them down below in the description. They put a lot of work into this. So make sure you go and check them out on routine hub. So huge thanks to them. This video wouldn't be possible if it weren't for them. So. Moving on to another website, if you tap on the shortcut button and then tap on the actual shortcut, you can go ahead and tap on the dark mode and you'll see you have an instant dark mode. Now every time you launch this, you're going to have to click the allow button for the first time. So if you launch another tweak, I guess, inside the shortcut, you're going to have to tap on allow. But after that, you will no longer have to do that. So it's going to be annoying for the first time you use each, I guess, individual tweak. But after that, for the second time, you're no longer going to have to tap on allow. So what's really cool is you can change the font on the website as well. You can change the background color by doing the dark mode. You can go ahead and download videos. You can even edit the HTML on a website. You can even do a voice search. You can search another website. You can search individual text on the website. So like if you do command F or control F on a Windows or Apple computer, you know how you can find certain text on a page. I'm pretty sure you can do that with this shortcut as well. So it's pretty cool and useful and it could probably help with PDFs. You can also download YouTube videos, which I only recommend doing that to non-copyrighted material. You can also view the console and things like that so that's like being able to edit the html you can expand a url you can shorten a url you can do so much with this shortcut and this specific one actually takes you to the wayback machine for this specific website which is also really cool and so we noticed that if we use the wayback machine on apple's website we saw the leaks and rumors for air power but yeah that's another video so thank you so much for watching and as always peace